It's time. Hello and welcome to Storica Aurora. Where the new chapter just released today. I am so fucking excited. I haven't started the game today at all. Because I don't want to miss a single bit. And there might always be some pre-story kind of things going on. Okay, so far so normal. That login event, yes. I've been slacking off on logging into the game a bit, but, uh, you know. I'm busy sneak. Oh. Okay. That's, uh, that's Izumi's umbrella. Hmm. And obviously a million reports, because I haven't started it on this phone in a while. Ah, Origin of Fuse. Nice. Rare. Okay, okay. Oh, it's, it's a brand new one, too. This one just came out. Oh, you can get Pang, I need to tell Melba. And, and, and. Pang SP is really good. Unfortunately, you probably won't be able to afford him. Origin stone, please. Oh, sad. Okay, let's do some grinding before we head in. Uh, with the war zone. So I've been more or less diligently playing. Uh, that is not the team I want. This is the team I want. Let's go! I hope you're ready. But I just want to get into the hang of things and just uh, give people a bit of time to get it before we head into the actual story chapter. This should still be relatively easy. I don't think this one does anything until 20. This one just dies, yeah. They they had a similar event uh about two or three months ago. Um where the third enemy uh as of unnamed uh, as of right now unnamed um kind of turns into the actual boss of the thing. Uh, around level 20 of the quest. Also, frag. Frags. Frog good. That should take care of it. Yep. Nice. Down. So why do they play lasers theme in here? Lasers battle theme? I don't wanna. Will of God everywhere. But yeah, this is just kind of a spammable thing. Not too exciting, not too boring. 
私だっても自分で自分のことが信じられないんだから But I definitely want to give it two more clears before anything else. Fred! They are getting tough. Nice. And that's the 20 step, very good. <laughs> Let's clear that and then see if we're gonna go into story after. Because oh, heaven knows we could. The heaven in the game, that is. And... Combo setup is happening. Oh, interesting. Okay, still dies. Good. I'm almost a hundred percent certain it won't on twenty one. Yay, stuff. <gasps> This one isn't around too much longer, I don't think. Maybe a week. Oh, nice. Level up very good. I want 60... Uh, 75 for the Poogie skill book. a very good skill book. Not much reason not to get. Advisor mineral. Meh. Where's the music? Where did the music go? Hello? No music for me. Let's do this real quick. For effectively four clear tickets. Very nice. And... Uh... Daily Limited, uh, this, very good. <gasps> Kakuin, you have arrived. I've just been doing some grinding I won't have time for after stream. And also to give people who are interested in this, like yourself, time to join. Uh... There is what they call a war zone event right now. Where you can get this lovely anniversary skin for Poogie. And you can fight Freg. Freg? Freg. And... Mm. Actually, I'm going to use... I, I want to know what this is. So, the way these work, they had one similar to this, but not featuring Frog. Um, a while ago. I said this uh, earlier. Everyone watching the VOD now gets to hear this twice. Um, I mean, there's technically Kanula, who is a frogodile, so you have frog. Oh, dial. Uh, but so, <clears throat> these level up every time you beat them, and they store your progress if you fail. Because you only have four, uh, 15 turns to do anything. The first 20 levels are about the same. But last time on this very level, level 21, this here, which has no name. Like, this is called Roaming Frog, this is called uh, Vagrant Frog. The one in the back suddenly turned into a massive boss. So let's see if history repeats, shall we? Nope. Still dies on 21. Okay. That's interesting. 
Maybe it will do something on 30. But still dies instantly on 21. It, it has no name. It will become something. I just don't know what. But yeah, so uh, you get the Poogie skill book in 75. You get an icon of the Poogie skin on, on 100. And then you just get some random shit. Uh, like, eventually. The certificates kind of just level you up. And give you keys of potentiality. Which you can use to unlock these locked abilities down here. Uh, so this event isn't going to be around for much longer. It's going to be around for exactly a week. So next Wednesday it will be gone. If you don't have a whole lot of um, Stardust, you will probably not be able to get to level 60 on it. If you haven't started it already. If you do reach level 60 in this, you get the frog icon. Which I want. But level 60 is very hard. So, if you haven't started on this, you will probably need to spam it very actively using Soul Stardust to be able to get the frog. Hey, ye. Uh, that's how it is. Oh, uh, one thing I need to do also is, uh, the thing that gives all of these, Adventurer's Workshop. But I won't do that on stream because it's usually just me trying to figure out the comp to take in here. <clears throat> but, um, Adventurer's Workshop is very, very valuable content. This resets once a month. It gives you adventure mode items. Specifically, it gives you um, tier 2 recipes for items that if you carry them with you, they will buff certain characters. Um, this round it's going to probably be these three. So for Crush Fang, uh, Fatima and Leo. And they are really good items. They are really good, uh, good, um, adventure mode exclusive buffs. Uh, I don't know, do you like the, uh, do you like, um, uh, b -b 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 fish girl? Suyon. Suyon SP. I don't have her yet. Also, a uh, new Origin X, uh, infuse exactly today. With uh, Pang SP, Charl SP, and Joanne SP. Yay! Uh, we can check out um, Suyon's uh, stats real quick if you want to. Um... Oh yeah, right, uh, Diana SP is back too. Sion, uh, what can you do? Which one? You mean for, um... Uh, for him, the man. Um, maybe they'll make one. Uh, maybe they'll make an SP of him for uh, when he is a uh, post story and evil or something. Like, who knows? And then ally is tank up an armor shift, cast a skill. Increase their skill power by 40%. That is a very bad advisor skill. 
easy. This game is getting very convoluted. I don't know if the dragon teens are on our side anymore. But, um... Again, like, this is not a good advisor skill. It is a nice damage boost that's 40%. But the, the person who's casting the skill needs to have both tank up and armor shift. That's... That's not, uh... That's not, uh, a good advisor skill, in my opinion. Passive... Is exactly the same. Okay. I thought I was having a stroke, or the game was bugging, but nope. Passive and advisor skill, exactly the same. <clears throat> so what do you do? Passive might be good depending on her kit. Passive might be good depending on her kit. Grant selected ally armor and tank up. Two turns of war cry. Remove two orbs of selected character. Yep, that will instantly just trigger this. Because it gives tank up and armor. Uh, it gives tank up. Does anything here give armor shift? That's just armor pen? Oh. If the armor penetration move on all enemies causes any enemy's armor to return to zero, it triggers the one orb skill. Okay. And for four orbs, armor penetration all enemies and grant, grant all allies armor shift for two turns. If the attack causes an enemy's armor to turn to zero, trigger white character's two orb skill. What color are you? You are yellow. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Oh my god! This has a- this might have a combo. This might have a, an insane combo in it. <clears throat> this might have some really good combos. With uh, whatever that white character's two orb skill is, you can do some insane shit with that. Yeah, the trigger skills are so so uh, frequently used right now. They can be so good if you play them right. Oh yeah, I got dagger sp in the previous banner. There he is. He he white. Uh, I don't know what he does on high level. Oh, right. Uh, he is... He, he... What? <laughs> Excuse me? <coughs> Look at that fucking skill description. It's one line. <laughs> this is an SP character. Why does he have one line? Just damage. It, it just says attack all enemies. It just... Damage. <laughs> what? Why? Ah, uh, Grand Hall Allies rage for... Th oh, fuck. Really? They trigger what? That is... That is a... That is a three orb. Grant all allies for a uh, rage for three turn. If you don't know what rage does, rage um, it buffs your um, your damage. Uh, it's it's down here in the description. It buffs your damage by thirty percent for each stack, and when they take damage, they get another stack. And then also just a, a trigger his own one orb. Just pff, damage. And <clears throat> uh, if the ally's total rage stack count reaches nine stacks, trigger the four orb. Let's see what the four orb does. Uh, attack selected enemy, convert three non white orbs into white orbs. When casting a skill, if all enemies have taunt, Grant selected ally tank. A tank up for three turns and trigger the two orb skill.
okay, if all enemies have taunt. But there's nothing in his kit that gives taunt. Maybe with these skill set enhancements? Yes, there it is. With his first skill set enhancement, his one orb gains the ability. Uh... No, wait, it doesn't. Huh? No, this also triggers off of everything having taunt. Who is this? What combo is this for? Who did they make you for? What the fuck? Okay. It doesn't grant anything. Wait, what is his? Excuse me? I forgot to read his his passive. Upon the start of player's first turn, this character casts three orb skill. Allies' rage will not be removed at the end of battle. What? What? He's a powerhouse for uh, for long uh, stages. Then. And what's the advisor? When an ally granted is granted range, a rage, grant them enhance for two turns. Great, so just if they get rage, give them more rage, give them more damage, okay. When an ally is attacked for each stake of rage, they have decreased the enemy's skill power by 15. So having him in the advisor slot turns rage into also both a resistance and a damage buff. That is interesting. Like, another damage buff. It gives you a enhance, and it has properties of a nerfed um, defense up. So that's interesting. I'm going to give him some XP. He is exceedingly awesome. Holy fuck. I am into this. I like this. Let's level him up a bit, shall we? Give him some experience. All the way up to 70-something. 72, I think, yes. 5,000 attack, that looks better. Yeah, he just, he just deals 4,000 to everyone. I think this is stronger than his actual, like, normal versions for orb. Except that it doesn't do anything else. Like, what? Excuse me? I don't- I still don't know what comp- uh, what- what team comp he's for, but he seems very good. Damn. Oh my god, my boss is calling me. I'm so annoyed. Hiya! Okay. Let's do this though. Let's play the storyline. I am ready. Chapter 
Chapter 4 The show goes on. Five? Okay, um, what? What? I, how did I... What? <laughs> No, I actually have it already. You are wrong, game. This bar should be full. What? Huh? <laughs> the, the, the fuck? <laughs> There's this tiny ass pixel on the bottom of this, this bar right here. That if you manage to click it with your mouse, you could just drag the bar. What? <laughs> How did they leave this in? Amazing. I love it. It's perfect. Let's go. Story time. <laughs> what? Why? What the heck? Fuck. Mm. Are you sure this is the way to Atlas Boogie? I'm sure we've been past here already. <laughs> Please, I'm the hero of this arc, and who are you not? Destiny stars burns bright above my head, and it's telling me we're right on track. <sighs> Great. It is Poogie time, as you can tell. Can he be serious for just one moment? Nighthawk's gonna be so worried. Everything looks fine to me. Yeah, yeah. Intentional. <clears throat> Nighthawk's gonna be so worried. I'll have, us, uh, I'll have to ask whoever we come across to deliver a message for us. I'm serious, just keep up with me. Boogie! Why is Poogie a Pokemon? Wow, there's an enormous flower growing here. Don't touch it, that's an enemy. <laughs> it moved! <gasps> oh no! I remember now. Yes, this is the mid-tier boss that Pang did away with in season one. I hate this. <laughs> Why, Poogie, please? Ah. Maybe it's to do with this monster's influence in the environment. Yeah, yeah. Screenwriter, get yourself out here now. You think you can save and cost by messing about with me? Behind you, Boogie. Yes! He finally died. God damn it. Why does he get epic music? No. <clears throat> he doesn't deserve epic music. Surprised? I'm not the person I was before! I beat you once, and I do it all over again! Let's go, Hestia! We are ending this! This is so stupid. Why? Why is he yellow? Do I have to kill this with area only? Like, huh? Oh no, she does have an attack move. I remember. No, I did not miss Poogie one bit.
Ah, it's over. Attacking is totally futile, Boogie. What do we do? Mm hmm. Great. The textbooks just said super califragilistic. They were going for fucking Mary Poppins, really? And the plants was like, wow. You know what? No, fuck this. <laughs> ah, Poogie. I hate Poogie. So much. Poogie is worse than Paimon, in my opinion. Because Paimon, you can get used to. It's just the voice. Not so much what she says that is annoying. Part of what she says, but comic relief, you know? Poogie is just unbearable. <laughs> he is cringe 24-7. So, will the man with the horn see us once he's all finished? I must have been back to Atlas since I last heard, of, heard from him, but... Yeah, Paimon's just there. Can you help us out with Nigel, Frederica? Shelly is waiting for a return. No way! That boy should better come greet us in person! Why should she get to see him first? And then us chasing the heels. That's not fair. Uh. I can't hide this any longer. Where are you, Nigel? Mm. Miss Rabbit, please don't make a scene. I guess the man with the horn simply isn't an atlas. Not here. It's the Friday Eve. N no, Nigel's. Oh dear, it's all over your face. That idiot. How could he run off for a time like this? Who knows? Many their own space too. Sometimes. But I'm afraid this means I'll have to ask you to stop in as a leader, Monsieur Mitsuki. No, the snake ring. Oh, maybe it's it's with the the dice. Oh, by the way, I found the dice. <laughs> Where's the music? Are they being attacked by a flower? Don't let it into Atlas. All right, all right. I'll teach you the lesson. Just so we can talk in peace. Yes. Where's the music, hello? There's no music. Music is illegal. This only happens when streaming it, by the way, not when playing it normally on the phone. This is a stream-related bug. Uh, it wasn't a draw. Oh, good antibody now? Come on. Oh, uh, whoops. I forgot to heal. Um. You know what? I just hope I don't need her anymore. Easy. Bye, music. <laughs> yes. Did this get any worse? What's that fat bird sticking his beak into now? Hi. Are you okay, miss? Mm -hmm. I'm fine, thanks to you. Oh, no. 
Ah, uh, even the flowers of Whistlewood Valley are out on the make now. Do you think this is getting out of hand, Miss Yamitsuki? Well. Yeah, Yamitsuki. That's me. Great, we finally found you. Nigel wanted us, uh, wanted us to give this to you. <gasps> this is Nigel's scarf. Please, give me that letter. Did something happen to Nigel, Miss Eve? He's been held up outside Desert Kingdom port. The Desert Kingdom? So that's where she's gone to? That can't be right. Wouldn't he be in grave danger? Trying to hold us in. Yes, I'm listening. Atlas will open the port and assist you with the resettling of the refugees. But there's one condition. The Kingdom of the Sun must negotiate with the Desert Kingdom for Nigel's protection and safe return. Miss Eve. I knew it. See, you've got a heart of gold after all. All right, understood. I'll go back and report to Her Majesty right away. We should get going too. Am I doing the right thing, Nigel? You feel the absence of the snake wing? No. I I hope you find it again. It's so cute. It's such an adorable ring. You know, these chapters are weird. There's so much happening, but nothing's happening. Like, we've now had four chapters of just monsters and politics and, like, one actual piece of story, which wasn't here. My baby, your baby. Ah, uh, he was in chapter three, I think. It's just, it's so much politics and so little everything else. That's the condition for the Atl uh, for Atlas opening their port. So that means Nigel hasn't been an Atlas all this time. And didn't want us to know about it either. Has he gone to the east to raise an army? We can't be too pleased with the demi-human situation. Your Highness. I'm sorry. Then we shall go ahead and uh, go ahead with it. You've had an arduous journey, General Lucian. You should rest. Five five pages. So about an hour, I guess. It's just this chapter. And they always are. It's never a lot of story, but it's very good and very frequent. There's about one chapter every month. The third chapter, the, the last one we played a month ago, was just delayed by a month because we got two chapters at once for the release of the storyline. Though away from the Desert Kingdom back to Atlas is crawling with monsters. Well, this, been especially uh, this will be an especially dangerous escort mission. We can't afford any slip-ups. But our forces are in short supply just now. It'll be difficult to mobilize for a while. Does your highness have an anyone in mind for this mission? Mm, let me think. I've got it. Captain, go find Holy Maiden Misa. She should be arriving in the Desert Kingdom soon now. I uh, see. Suitable choice indeed. I look for Misa at once.
someone outside is coughing their lung out. Still waiting a bow. Mm. Yoo-hoo! Are we going to return to the east with the door slammed in our faces? Just like those jolly come ladies. Uh. I told you, I have to get back to Atlas. <laughs> ah, don't tell me you actually trust that sketchy fat bird. Oh. Got any better ideas? Yeah. yeah. Let's wait until the Desert Kingdom forces come out of the resupply. Then whip out your blade and slaughter them. And rampage right into the city. <laughs> Who cares what happens to Atlas? Us two can get out and we'll go wherever we please. <laughs> Still cracking jokes, I see. Looks like you're in good spirits. Keep your idiotic ideas to yourself. <laughs> ah, I knew you'd say that. So boring. I'm serious, though. I told you, waiting around isn't going to do us any good. Boy, uh, this is bad. Okay, she's just healing support then. Eve, whatever. Nice, that was close. Izumi almost died. Izumi! I'm fine, but there's so many of them. This doesn't look too good. See that. Damn, that's not a single break in their offenses. I don't even time to read. Is this how it ends? No! Sorry, Eve. Eliminate the monsters.
The Death of Kingdom Army. Is having like that, General? Eh. They could make a counterattack at any moment. Stay frosty. Mm. Understood. Are... What the? The pot's open all of a sudden. Find your conscience, haven't you? This is. Ah. Allow me to explain. I salute of you and your wang. You are. Diana Juan, uh, Juan Gomez. Diana Juan Gomez, Queen of the Desert. We meet at last, Nigel. Aww. You know me? Uh. Holy Maiden Misa just returned with a message from Queen Angelia. Atlas Deputy Leader Jamitsky has agreed to cooperate with us on condition that the Kingdom of the Sun negotiate with me to assist your departure. Hmm. We're, great, uh, we're grateful to Atlas for agreeing to help us uh, to help take the refugees. Diana and I are so pleased. Hmm. Looks like we have Jamitsky to thank for this. Moskasta. Working with the Kingdom of the Sun. I've got one question. Who's gonna be the escort? All hands on deck. Ace! Oh, I've missed Ace. Ace is uh, Sion's brother. The guy with the red strand of hair. He's so good. I've missed him. There he is! Hey, <laughs> Larry's repeated herd noises, yes. Uh, by the way, we are not going to play um, Genshin today on stream for the simple reason that I accidentally started OBS without admin privileges and will not be able to stream Genshin. Because Genshin cannot be captured in user mode OBS. <laughs> for some reason, it doesn't work. Hmm, the certain Lee Sanjali sent writing. And Wax Seal. I see, thank you for your assistance. There's no time to lose. We'll make preparations to leave at once. Ah. Then we shall leave you to it. The Desert Kingdom can be if, uh, if the Desert Kingdom can be of any further help, please let me know. Okay. Once you have a uh, you have a gratitude. Hmm. I didn't hesitate for one moment. Do the Kingdom of the Sun really have such lax memories? Ah. And beat around the bush. Speak if you've got something to say. <laughs> no, nothing. I'm just making a small talk. I know exactly what you meant. Even if the war is over now, the Kingdom of the Sun are still Atlas' mortal enemies. Oh. Huh. Hey! Oh. Huh? It's been a while, Mr. Nigel. Ah. Are you looking to borrow Atlas under and Atlas' underground library? Yes, I need to uncover more or less knowledge if I'm to be of any help to the East. Ah. First you betray Angelia, now you're back on her side. 
What about next time? Will you stand with Theodore again? No, I... Ah, you Carlos is all the same. <sighs> if I remember right, it was you who won over Angelia, but then left the kingdom of the sun to burn. And now you're working together with her highness, and once again... Jimmy. When it comes to betrayal, you've got to be the supreme authority. Ooh! So you got the ban! Working together? Make it sound almost respectable. Using each other, more like. I know exactly what, uh, what your queen is up to. Talk down Theodore all you want, but let's be honest. You see the demi-humans just as much as a threat. Mate. That's not it, Mr. Nigel. <laughs> oh, so you think the demi-humans are all harmless and innocent? Some leader you are. Oh, my. <gasps> oh no, the sad call. Um, uh, yes, Ace! Ace! Ace is here! And Elio! I'm still sorry about your dad, Elio! Holy shit! Ah, <laughs> uh, I... So, I still had that sliver of hope that Tal isn't dead. But... Ah... Uh, He is. He, he died. In that scene in the chair, he died. He's been dead ever since. <sighs> oh. So what? If I apologize, would you even accept it? <laughs> Certainly not. What do you take me for? <sighs> so why get yourself mixed up in all this in the first place? You! One's interest and benefits are of the essence of politics. Mutual benefit, mutual betrayal. And then mutual benefit once more. Ah, uh, Nigel is just upset he had Angelia for existing. The demi-humans aren't as good at calculating as the likes of you. All I want is an end to a persecution. <laughs> and how will you achieve that? By holding a grudge against the Kingdom of the Sun and making monsters show of yourself out here? I... <laughs> you can go on playing house if you don't want to make real decisions. Her Highness does want... Her Highness does what she does for her people. And you're nothing next to her. Oh. Well, and then Nigel went on to insult Elio. Oh. Being like, Elio, what are you doing here? First you help Angelia, then you betray her for Theodore, and now you're back at her side. What are you gonna do next? Go back to Theodore? And then Ace came in like, bitch! You got Angelia to even do the whole thing, and then you betrayed her. You fuck. And now we're here. <laughs> Mr. Nigel, I know how you feel. But if these monsters keep coming, the demi humans will be doomed too. <sighs> I don't know about politics, but I'm certain that if we don't work together, or to seal the void, then sooner or later. Mm. There won't be any of us left. The most important thing for the demi-humans right now is to protect Atlas from his fortune, right? We can't beat the monsters without uh, working together, it's true. But how can I trust the humans again? Mm. Indeed! 
that wasn't just that wasn't a box of text. That was just a subtitle. <laughs> just read. Hmm. Two more. Oh, I don't know. Nigel, please. Oh. Oh, no. Mr. Nigel, the deserts are filled with wild beasts as well as monsters. You'll be in danger if you fall behind. Huh. Mm. I'm not getting too close to your lot. Who's to say uh, whether it'll be a beast or the humans who pounce with me first? You are being oh. an asshole. You've only just set off. Are you going to keep your guard up the whole way to Atlas? <laughs> Ice cream? <laughs> An ice cream biscuit, very good. Please, who knows when you'll show the, uh, your true colors. You s who said you could sit here? Excuse me, but I'm concerned about you. Ice cream frog. Very good. What the hell? You can just tell me if you want to keep an eye on me. Theodore may have been a crook, but at least he was upfront about it. <sighs> Charles Serres. Huh? Theodore's not my father. I'm not a Carlos. My father's name was Charles Serres. What are you on about now? <laughs> Perhaps you're not as familiar with me as you think, Mr. Nigel. If you don't mind, may I tell you my story? He may have been born the son. Baby! Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> ah, you're awake. How oh, unfortunate. Bugger. But yeah. Elio may have been born the son of Theodore, but Theodore was not his father. You can't do this to me, game! <laughs> huh. 
<sighs> oh boy. This game is so good. Stop monkeying around. I've not seen you all evening. Where have you been? Ah, <laughs> uh, just around. We were having such a cozy chat with the little prince. I didn't want to disturb you. Molly. Never mind it. Stop calling him a little prince. He doesn't think of himself as a Carlos. Ah? Mm? Uh, but isn't he one of their family? Mm. Thought so too, but... Hey, here's me. Think it's possible for people not to care about each other's blood, their roots. Mm. Well, I guess you stop caring either way if you live long enough. Bloodlines or whatever. Oh. Seriously, though, what do you think? What's got you so curious? Wanna trust them? Got it, uh, Nigel? Are... You can be straight with me. <sighs> ah. You're sharp as ever, isn't it? <laughs> Naturally. You've gotten so boring, Nigel. What the fuck, Izumi? What the fuck is your deal? Don't look at me like that. I wanted to go and having fun with you. But be so lame if you were to join forces with them. So that's why his old blade and her fucking umbrella were on the cover art for this page, for this chapter. In any case, I'm lending a hand to Atlas. Because I'm looking forward to a fight, not some mutual loving. What are you jabbering about now? Don't believe me, Yamitsuki's a lot more observant about such things than you. I'd have forced you to stay back in the east if I'd known I was going to turn out this way. What fun it'd be to see Atlas leaderless and lost s scattered to the winds. Oh my. She lost that stamp now? She's a pa- he Izumi's a pa -hellion. Literally killed. Fucking... He literally killed the Keelin Chieftain. Yeah, you know it's confusing. He literally is a Parhelion, a high ranking member of the. Dragon teens. Get a load of you. I see. You're a damn human too. Why would you want to drag your compat uh, compatriots down? Compatriots? That's just a game to me. A game carefully planned out by the 8th Pahalian of the Dragon teens. Dragon it's how could that be? Ew. I have standards. Yes, fanboy standards. Alright, enough of hammy dialogue already. When Yamitsuki sees the delegation bringing back your dead corpse, 
The ensuing war between Atlas and Kingdom of the Sun will be your sight to behold. You creep. Just how much longer are you going to be tormenting us? I told you, if you live long enough, you stop caring about everything. No! Not happening, bitch! Since it's a game, how about letting us play too? You! Uh, you're not asleep yet? We're not prepared to let a single hair on our child's head uh, be harmed, as you bring shame to Angelia and the Kingdom of the Sun. Thanks for your concern, though. Mm -hmm. uh, you're right, Mr. Nigel. <laughs> I'll live. How disappointing. I guess there'll be two more corpses for the pile. <laughs> oh my, they give us the void battle theme for her? For him? Oh my fuck. Okay, no notes. Good, good. Hey, I probably shouldn't, uh, be stupid. Get this open, then die. There we go. That's a good one. That's the kind of shit I like to see. Ah, health damage, finally. Took long enough. Ah. I have no chance of winning this battle. Got it. Yeah, you are completely right. See this? See the dot 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 buff? Yep. Oh, the music now! What the fuck? They made sure to give him like a million fucking damage reduction. Oh fuck! Bye, Nigel. Oh, fuck me. Oh, there we go. The buff just says you can't win this battle. It's it's the hint buff to tell you this is an unwinnable encounter. It just literally just spells it out for you. Uh, that's okay. Sorry for the hold up. Oh, there's, there's a part for the desert army in its ways to speak. Now, I've given you time to call for backup. Too bad it won't do you any good. Ah, yes. <laughs> Who's gonna stop me and face their own annihilation? Any takers? So much stronger than us. 
he is, yes. Looks like he wasn't lying about being a Pahalian. All we can do now is fight on. Forget it, this is getting tedious. Is me what I It's just a game. Frankly, I don't care who loses. I'm just following whoever seems the most interesting. So regretfully I'll have to take my leave of you here. Bye bye, Naito. After him! Don't let him escape! Let him go. Our mission is to get to Atlas. We'll prioritize seeing the wounded. Yeah, don't follow. Don't follow the literal Pahalian. You will just die. How is he? I just said, look, fortunately, it's just a scratch. Relax, it's nothing your queen will chew out over. Oh. All right then. Huh. I won't be thanking you. <laughs> I, I won't be thanking you anything, but, but, Baka. <laughs> what is this? <sighs> Mr. Nigel. Ah. Instead of useless words, you can have my permission to make use of the library. Centurino mm. Naito. I don't plan to reevaluate you humans, but as a leader, I have to make the best of, uh, use of all I've got. Uh. The kingdom of the sun better watch out. Don't hesitate to sacrifice you. If it comes to that. Uh. We won't forget it. Hey, senpai, I don't need your help, just to be clear. That's my tsundere voice. Mm. <sighs> I'd best be moving on to little padways here. That was a interesting encounter, I guess. How much longer do we have to walk? I'm tired. I can't go any further. We'll never make it in time. Everybody's going to be gobbled up. Uh. Put yourself together. We nearly found the monster enchantress. We've just got to keep going. Monster Enchantress does she even exist. I wish she could speak to monsters and drive them away. Ah. Of course she does. We've come this far. We're sure to find her. Ah, uh. uh, we've lost the fanboy to the dark side a while ago. Monsters, monsters incoming. We can't escape. We're gonna get eaten. It's all fake. Hang in there. I'm sorry, please don't attack them. Please leave them. Are you talking to the monsters? Are you insane? What kind of idiot are you? No, I'm... Monsters can communicate. As long as that voice... Ah, stay safe from me! 
Oh, just get out of here! No, please don't go. That is... Stop! Awesome. See what I mean? Did I really hear her? Go back where you came. What am I seeing? Thank you. Oh, who's she talking to? This is making me as comfortable. She's talking to someone we can't hear, ordering the monsters about. Could this be the monster enchantress? Uh, well, some people do call me that. So it's you! It said you were paras uh, parasitized by a monster and thus especially monstrous and terrifying. You're actually kinda cute. Finally, things are happening! Sorry, Mr. Sajandras, please forgive us a rudeness and spare our lives! Oh, that's okay. Please get up. No, we're just simple humans. Please let us go! Oh. So your village was destroyed and you've come to seek protection, is that it? <clears throat> come with me. I'll place you... Uh, I'll find a place to put you up. All right, come on then. Norma's very sweet. She wouldn't get mad at you. Uh, mm. Leave the rest to me. You go back and rest. Okay. Why is it permanently her crying? That's... You probably can't see it on stream, but that's her crying face. The entire conversation. There's tears in it and everything. Why? Why is she crying? Mm. So it can't help but attack everybody. Same. Oh, don't you get it? I'm asking too much. Am I asking? I'm asking too. Am I? Am I asking too much of you? Miss mm. Nova, you're here. <gasps> huh? oh, sorry. Perhaps I should be calling you Miss Monster Enchantress now. <gasps> just call me Nova. There's fear and fear people calling me by my name now. I'm just a little surprised as all. <laughs> I see. After all, you're the famed Enchantress now. That's enough to scare any gutless cowards away. <laughs> so you've also come under the protection of the Citizen Guard. Yep, business has plummeted uh, thanks to those monsters. But at least my life is in safe hands, thanks to you, Miss Lova. Hi. I'm sorry to hear it. Miss Lova, is there anything you can do to make all the monsters disappear? I've tried, but... Actually, I've been trying to communicate with them through a particular voice. But I don't know who that voice actually belongs to. And it's not totally audible every time. I didn't even know what that... Why that voice wants to help me. Fate. Fate? What is it, Miss Nova? <clears throat> I thought I had. No, it's nothing. <laughs> All right then. I was worried that made you angry. I thought you were summoning monsters to take care of me. <laughs> no, no, I'd never do such a thing. Everybody's got me wrong. It's not like that at all. If you're sure you can't summon monsters, I'm sure you'll be fine. Did you hear that? She'd never do anything like that. What? Where are you going? How big a bounty could we get from the Twelve Nobles for legendary monster enchantress? You want to hand me to the nobles? 
Of course, you're not property right now. Let's move. Oh. You know good schemers. Keep your paws of Nova. Ah. Nova's the strongest character in this fight. She's no baby. Also, she's like 30. She was pretty old, yeah. Hold on, I'll look this up. Nova Carpenter. She was pretty old, if I remember correctly. Yeah, she's 35. <laughs> she just looks like she's 23. She's pretty. She looks young, but she's 35. She is a fully, like, she's a master puppet maker. <clears throat> Where are you going? Give us your money back. <sighs> Forget it, kitty eyes. Let them run. <laughs> the monsters have brought hard times on all of us. And I am to blame, too. <gasps> Nobody's been willing to speak to me for a long time. Except for you and Roger. I'm so happy that I let my guard down. Nova! If it weren't for you, we'd all be dead and dust already. We've done nothing wrong. Don't worry, me and Roger will take care of you. <laughs> and Waverlight's still here too! Hmm. Who's Waverlight? Roger, you heard! Uh, don't mind me, take Nova. Kimi. You can all flee if you want, but leave the monster Chantress behind. <laughs> Evil must be punished. You're Nova Carpenter, aren't you? The one who calls herself the monster Enchantress. <laughs> Nova Carpenter, that's me. Good. Prepare to die, imposter. <laughs> Prepare to die, imposter of Zdorica. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> like... It doing it when they say Among Us is a meme, right? Like, this is just... Come on, imposter, really? In 2022? <laughs> Whoa. Fast and slow are relative to one another. But good and evil are absolute. The exalted one taught me that. I don't understand. Why are they so angry? Isn't it obvious I freed them from evil? If you don't understand, then just trust me. Unlike humans with their weak spots, dragons are absolute beings. The moment I was driven out, a hand reached toward me. I became a bodyguard, always at their side. I'm grateful for it. I'd happily let myself be torn and smashed to pieces. He's the one in the trailer. Drowning in our regrets, those of us who remained formed the sect to bring the Exalted One back, but... The Eclipse was shattered. Evil. If the, exa if the Exalted One were here... This would never. Was it strong enough? I should have given the true son's position up to the someone more suitable. And then, at the moment, 
I had some strange news. Only the Exalted One could control the monsters. Even the Immortals weren't able to do that. And the Monster Enchantress? Evil enough to dare impersonate the Exalted One. I have to punish her. That's all I can do. Oh, I am playing him. Did I just get that right, though, in that dialogue? Did he just say I should have given the true son's position up to someone else? Is this the first Pahelion? Is that who this is? But first we have to inspect his moveset, right? Come on. Come on. Let's inspect him. Uh, he's going to... He's so going to be in the next... In the next banner. I already know it. Armor shift. Upon the end of surf turn. Grand self HP equal... Yeah, good, good. Upon the start of play's turn, for each type of buff this character has, trigger their one up skill once. If this character didn't cast an orb skill in the previous turn, grant them one stack of eternal clock. Decrease one stack if they did. Eternal clock. Each stack of eternal clock increases this character's skill power by 30. A 30%. Three stacks max. Attack all enemies. If the target's cooldown is more than 1, 2, or 3, deal damage. Attack front row enemy, grant self damage reduction and tank up. Attack all enemies, reset the stacks of eternal clock and grant all enemies CD plus one. Whoa. Damn. Ah, Kathy Eyes, Roger. Why are you? Who are you? My name has long been wiped from the Soul Crystals. Aside from the Exalted One, not even the Immortals remember it now. Are we gonna tell her? And you faced with your own death have no need for it now either. The monsters are coming to save you. Hugo? We told him. We told her. We told her his name. Let's go. The voice is telling me her name is Hugo. Oh, the music! Ah, oh. yes. This is so good. Oh, I love this game. <sighs> and that's it. That was it. Of course, there's only cliffhangers.
Now we wait another month. I think of all the menu music, the market music just kills me the most every time I hear it. Yeah, you gotta grind now and then. Don't rush it. Um, but like, this is just the chapter one market theme. But remember, Ray was the market NPC. And now that she's gone, it's completely out of tune. So good. It just actively hurts to sit here and listen to it. Ah. Uh. Because every time you do, you just have to remember everything that happened. Everything... Every little thing. All of it. I'm definitely gonna try and farm for this event a bit. For this banner, because I just... I want all the characters, why not? The banners are here for a month. You can get about five temples for free if you do all the content, so... Fuck it. I'll get the characters. Also, Hugo, if he is going to be the next banner, uh, he is definitely going to be... Um, he's definitely going to end up in the... the million infuse after, so... Anyway, uh, we do need something else for the other two hours of stream. And since Genshin is weird, 